In conservation, sometimes the most simple action can make the biggest difference. Sage grouse live on the sage steppe grasslands of the American West. They truly are a remarkable bird, but they have fallen into hard times. Their populations over the last four or five decades have been drastically declining. They're closely associated with sagebrush grasslands, and there's precious little of it left. We have altered the habitat in ways um, that sage grouse don't seem to do as well. We've turned sagebrush into cultivated farm ground. We've added transmission lines. We've added roads. We've added fences. Fences, which are needed for ranching, cause problems for a lot of different species in the sagebrush ecosystem, but particularly for sage grouse. They live mostly on the ground, but when they fly, they fly low and don't always look where they're going. There can be fence collisions when sage grouse fly into fences, and that can be a source of direct mortality. And that's where we come in. Fence marking has been recognized by federal and state agencies as an essential step for protecting sage grouse. But no one is doing this on a large scale. The National Wildlife Federation is working with Youth Job Corps crews in Montana on projects to conserve this remarkable species. One of National Wildlife Federation's keystone points is getting kids outside in nature. And so this project really provides such a great opportunity to combine our conservation work while involving teens from various job corps from around the state. On this map, all these red lines are known fences. Our job is to go mark that entire teal line there that's highlighted. Coming here just gave me a new vision on you know what's actually out here what I can do to help and you know we met up with Haley and she's teaching us a lot about the environment out here and the sage grouse particularly. Um, Operation sage grouse. That's right Operation sage grouse. <laughs> Unless we actually step in and do something to help the sage grouse populations there's a good chance that they'll be put on the endangered species list. Put flags on every three feet or so you guys and they will make the fence more visible by you know, just adding a small plastic tab, we can prevent the risk of collision by 70, 80%. There aren't that many opportunities like this to really do hands-on conservation and get the kids outside. Montana Conservation Corps holds that very dearly that we're able to get teens outside because it's something that this day and age may not happen very often if we aren't giving people the chance to experience that and to live life outdoors. The kids, I think, really grow from the time that they spend out here and makes them really glad to go home to take a shower. <laughs> Three more miles, you guys. Just kidding. What really is going to save the species is conserving land, trying to create large tracts of intact habitat. But that takes a lot of time. And so fence marking offers an immediate benefit to the bird while those longer term conservation practices are taking place. If we work together, every high risk fence in Montana can be marked. I think sage grouse deserve a, a fighting chance. And certainly that's what we're trying to do with this work is, is really just give them a fighting chance.